This is one of two cornhole boards that I made for my niece's wedding. And it's just made out of some plywood, and then I put some uh, vinyl letters on it afterwards. All right, let's get started by cutting some plywood. Uh, a sheet of half-inch uh, plywood called Sandy. It's S-A-N-D-E. I got it at Home Depot. And it's just got a nice flat surface on one side. Uh, and I'm going to run it through the table saw. I've got the saw set to uh, 24 inches. I'm going to use this same plywood to make the framing and the legs. And so I've got the saw set to 3 inches and I'm going to need 4 uh, strips of 3 inch. Now to make the pair of these I'm going to need uh, 4 pieces that are 4 feet long. And so I'm going to cut 2 of these in half. Now to make the end pieces, I need four pieces that are 23 and an eighth because this half inch plywood is not exactly half inch, it's a little bit shy of that. I've got my board upside down. And I've measured, I'm going to cut it in half, so it's, I need it at 48 inches. And so I have measured 48 inches and then back an inch and a half because that's the offset on my saw from the blade to the edge, edge of my uh, guide. And so now I'm just going to cut it in half. All right, I've got my board upside down, and I'm gonna mark for the hole that we've gotta put in it. And so I want that hole to be nine inches down from the top, and 12 inches in from the side, so or right in the middle. Right there, and then I want the hole to be six inches, so I'm going to set my caliper to, or my compass, sorry, to three inches. And that'll be our hole. I did it on the, on the bottom side because when you cut, it's going to probably do a little bit of tear out and I want that to be on the bottom. All right, I'll just mark the next one. So put you a piece of waste stock up underneath your circle and then drill you a starter hole. And you can see that little bit of tear out that I got and that's why I wanted to do this on the, on the bottom because you can see so on the top there is there isn't any tear out. My hole's a little uneven so I'm going to take a half round rasp and clean that up, clean that up just a little bit. Perfect. Okay it's time for assembly. We've got our top boards made and the ends and the sides of the frame. So now we'll just get, put, get this put together. Now, I'm using just some uh, small brad, a small brad nailer. This came from Harbor Freight. Uh, if you don't have one of these, I always suggest you get one, uh, except you gotta have a compressor to run it. But um, they're really cheap and, the, and the, uh, the brads are really cheap also. If not, you could use something like a number four finish nail would work just fine.
To make the legs, I've cut a piece of our three inch board, uh, 11 and a half inches tall. That, that way when the, the top ply, which is half inch, comes across the top, that'll make it 12 inches off the grass. And so I've set my uh, compass to three, uh, one and a half inches. And so I'm just going to even that up with the top. And then draw an arc there. And then when you do this center point here, push it down good, because that's where you're going to drill your hole later for your bolt. And you'll make four of these. <laughs> Now the legs go right here, and so I'm just going to set it in there like that. And we're using 5 16 carriage bolts uh, to hold these in, so I'm just taking a 5 16 drill bit and going to drill that hole straight through. Well, it's still splintered out, but my carriage bolt will cover that. All right, and I'll do the other three. Okay, I filled all the holes, and now I'm just going to sand it with some 120 grit sandpaper. All right, I've got them all sanded down, and the next thing I'm going to do is get some stain put on there. I'm just using some early American stain. Uh, men wax and I'll let this dry overnight and put on some uh, polyurethane After the polyurethane dried I put some uh, vinyl letters on there and a little vinyl circle around the hole to accentuate it just a little bit and that finished up the project. Well, I hope this was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.